too. So when you see a picture like this, the one over my shoulder, it's hard not to take notice. And this morning, giant goldfish like these are causing giant problems for the Great Lakes. Our Kier Cotton joins us now live with more on the new study out showing how small creatures can create such big problems. Kier, good morning. Hey, good morning, guys. You know, this is quite a fascinating story. You know, when most people think of goldfish, they think of first pets for families or maybe something you win at a fair. But researchers say goldfish can grow up to 19 inches long and weigh up to nine pounds. Now, how does that happen? It happens when people release their pet goldfish into the wild. A study just published in the Journal of Great Lakes Research details how researchers have seen abandoned goldfish and their extended families uproot plants, contribute to harmful algal blooms, and consume native vegetation. And you may be thinking, just like I was, that this can't happen here, but it definitely can. Lake Erie is also no stranger to giant goldfish. Just last year, the Ohio Division of Wildlife shared this photo that you're seeing right now on your screen of a huge goldfish that they found at Fairport Harbor. They shared that photo with a reminder to, the, to folks at home not to release aquarium fish into the waters. They are Asian fishes that have been bred for thousands of years. They're beautiful, and then sometimes they uh, get out of shape and grow too big and cause havoc in the environment. Now, while all goldfish don't grow to huge proportions, even small ones can cause problems and spread disease. So bottom line, officials are urging people not to release pets outside as it can be harmful to the pet and to the environment. Gosh, Kira, I'm sure people didn't even think that that's what would happen if they released their goldfish. But I mean, now that you know, and now that you see those pictures, and hear the warning, hopefully nobody does it again. Absolutely. When you know better, you do better. Right, exactly. Kara, thank you.